So I booked a hip camp quite early yesterday morning. Um, it's hip camp I've been to before, I'm not going to mention who it is. It's a hip camp I've been to before, beautiful spot. I wanted to take the cameras out, do a video, do some filming, standard stuff. Um, hip camp now, if you're familiar with hip camp. Quite often you'll put a request in and the request has to be approved by the uh, the owner of the property. No worries, not a big deal. Um, I left, got ready, left early, expected to be able to check in about noon. Noon came, nothing. <laughs> Hadn't been approved. One o'clock, nothing, two, three, four, five. Still nothing. I'm kind of thinking, hmm, this isn't gonna, this isn't gonna happen. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up needing to find somewhere else to go and camp. Long story short, um, I ended up kind of in no man's land, not knowing what to do, sitting in the car for quite a while. Do I drive home? Do I just try and find somewhere else? Where do I go? Just trucking it down with rain. Just winter's just still hanging in there apparently. <laughs> so I'm uh, I'm at a point where I'm like, well, do I drive home or do I just try and find somewhere? So I ended up driving around, just found this little spot. Got in pretty late. It was raining the whole time. Uh, got in about eight thirty, no, eight thirty, I think. Um, Hadn't eaten. <laughs> was sitting in the car just waiting for the rain to stop set up. By by now I'm I'm pretty grumpy. I'm pretty over it. Waited for it to ease up a bit, jumped out, popped the awning out, got the fire going. Uh it was about nine ish nine thirty by the time I was eating. Put a couple of snags, had a couple of hot dogs. About 20 to 10 now. I'm snagging the bun. Ah. Mm -mm -mm. Never tasted so good. So this morning I'd gotten up and I thought, well, a, a video's done. Um, but I was just sitting here enjoying enjoying the sun coming up and it's been raining on and off, been showers this morning and the birds have been chirping and, um, it, it's still just been a lovely, like I'm glad I didn't just go home, it's still been a lovely, a lovely morning and um, you know I'm glad I, I'm glad I stuck it out, stayed out and cameras or not it's been nice to sort of not worry about the cameras just in the end give up on that and then yeah, just just suck it in, soak it in for what it is and just enjoy a night out bush. As much as I enjoy filming and um, putting videos out there, you gotta you gotta make sure that you're having that real time as well where you're not filming and you're not focused on on the camera because it definitely does take away there's a percentage of it that it takes away of just enjoying uh, what what you're doing, where you are, your time out in the bush. So you definitely need to make sure that you're, and I'm saying this to myself just as much as anyone else, you need to make sure that you're, um, you're also, at the same time as prioritising making videos, you're prioritising um, going out without the cameras and just and just sucking the guts out of it. I need to remember this, especially I need I need bloke time, I need boy time. Being so comfortable out here solo, it's very I I very easily fall into um, how easy it is or how spontaneous 
I can take advantage of how spontaneous. Well, yesterday was an in, was a classic example. I, I had I had the time free and I just spontaneously booked the spot because I was going on my own. I didn't need to worry about rounding up the boys or you know we didn't have to book a plan out three or four weeks ahead, for instance. You know, which is absolutely the way these days. When when I want to catch up with people, we usually have to book something out a couple of weeks ahead or. Uh, just it's just life. It's just how you know everyone's busy now. And whereas going out on my own, I can be so spontaneous. It's the beauty of solo camping is you can be so spontaneous about it, and literally wake up in the morning and have nothing to do and go, well, I'll, I'll just go camping. And that's the beauty of it. That's what I've become. I I probably take for granted with my situation, being comfortable to come out solo being able to just be so spontaneous about it. And, but where I'm going with that is I need to remember to have my bloke time, my boy time. Because us blokes, we need that. Same with the Sheilas, you know. Everyone everyone needs time with other people. You need that. And I have to specifically remember that myself, that I need to have... It's good for you to have time with friends and blokes and that friendship and camaraderie and mateship they're very very essential and important and it's no different for camping as much as I love it's maybe the problem I am so comfortable in my own company um, I do I do definitely feel it when I, I have to make that conscious effort to make sure I am going because it's a lot easier for me to go out Mentally and socially, it's a lot easier for me to go out and, and camp like this on my own, be a bit of a loner. So I have to sort of push myself, I guess is a good way to describe it. I have to push myself to go and um, have that bloke time. Sometimes I get a bit, I'm not, I'm not the best in social circumstances. I, um, you know, with a bit of anxiety and things like that, I don't always lean into it very easily so I have to remember to put the effort in to make sure I am going out with the boys and yeah have that have that bloke time that boy time it's very very important mentally speaking too it's good to have good to have those support networks and you know if you're feeling like you've got a bit of stuff going on and whether it be life life's just kicking you down and it's affecting you mentally or or more so a deeper, a bit of a deeper, more serious, poor mental health situation. Mental health has become a bit of a click word now, I feel like. It's, a, oh, it's, a bit of, it's turned into a bit of a gimmick, maybe. I don't know, that's a different topic perhaps, but if you feel like you're, 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 you're struggling a bit and your, your mental health is a bit poor, not to get all dark and grim, obviously, because it's very easy to do, but... Um, having those support systems and networks are there for you very and I've had to learn to lean into that as well myself being so again being so comfortable on my own in my own company um, along with that can come a sense of maybe relying on yourself a little bit too much and maybe that can not twist or warp but it can um, can sort of not always be too healthy kind of need you need that support system and and mates around you for the for a bit more clarity on things and life in general perhaps and when you've got when you've got something like you're not feeling right I think there's a lot a lot of us that don't acknowledge it and that's probably a big part of 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 the maybe the mental health conversation as well. It's not being it's not talked about much. Is the actual like it's all well and good to it's all well and good to have things like Are You Okay Day and um, you as a friend or a buddy can reach out to someone a thousand times. Hey mate, you okay? How you going? You good? 
and then and then you say as a sufferer can get those texts or those calls or even going out on the weekend with your baits and your camping or whatever you're doing and um and you can be like yeah yep good everything's good but really you can be you can be suffering maybe anxiety or quite bad depression anything like that and you uh you're self-medicating you're drinking a lot you're drinking too much you're, you're you're blowing off steam and getting way too way too loose or and i'm not being too um I'm not trying to single any particular kind of behaviour out here, um, but the, yeah, you, you can kind of be lashing out uh, and basically self-medicating, and you just not acknowledging it. A lot of us don't acknowledge. Yeah, there's something going on, and I need to. I guess what I'm trying to say is, you can have someone ask, you can have a mate ask, "Are you okay?" A thousand times, a million times, and unless you do actually as a sufferer acknowledge you know what man like i don't think i am it, uh, what, what, you know like you need to do something about that perhaps um I, th I feel like maybe that's a bit of the dialogue that's totally missing with the with the conversation about mental health and it's really good having mates and being a mate making sure the message of making sure that you checking in on your buddies and that's that's huge and it's and it's huge for the topic of of highlighting mental health and um awareness for it but it's just such a small fraction because unless a sufferer is able to acknowledge that they do have something going on they're like no yeah i do actually need help and then taking some steps to do something about that that's a huge part of the conversation I feel like that is not highlighted and not talked about which is a crying shame because that's sort of where it all starts for me I think is being able to maybe it would start from someone asking are you okay and then you can kind of get into a bit of dialogue where no you're not and then you can reason it out a bit with your friend and um, maybe that would help in itself or from there, then you can have the, the strength and the guts to go and um, seek some more professional help. But yeah, I think the acknowledging part of it is a huge, a huge part that's not talked about. And also things like diet, um, trying to eat well, you know, gut health and, and your brain, they're so heavily connected and... That's not something that's talked about enough. Not on a mainstream level either. It's it's very very underrated about how eating well can affect your your mind and your clarity and how you feel mentally. Doing you know doing exercise, just being healthier and trying to be fitter in general has a huge impact on your mental either good or poor mental state. So I'm home now. The camera cut out twice both of my batteries died I was very ill prepared and they both died right as I was right in the middle of talking and I had a point and a train of thought and I was I feel like I was articulating myself reasonably well and they died both times so I don't know what's there I don't know what I got where I got up to and I can't honestly really remember what I was what train of thought I had so You'll see whatever's there, and maybe if I have anything to add to that, I might do it when I'm sitting down looking back at it when I edit. But yeah, anywho, alas, thanks for watching. See you again soon on the next one. What are you doing? <laughs> All right, start off now.